Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Professor Eric, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the System Requirements Document, or what I call an SRD. What is a System Requirements Document? The SRD is used by the Program Office to provide more detailed requirements than what is provided in the Capability Development Document. It is normally included in a solicitation package. The SRD defines system level functional and performance requirements for a system. The SRD is derived from the Capability Development Document, Concept of Operations, System Level Performance Metrics, Mission Threads, Use Cases, Usage Environment and is developed by the Program Office. The SRD should include a system level description of all software elements required by the preferred system concept. When is the System Requirements Document developed? The SRD is developed during the technology maturation and risk reduction phase. However, a draft SRD should be developed for the analysis of alternatives during the material solutions analysis phase. How is the system requirements document developed? The SRD should be developed with feedback and input from the industrial base. Once the SRD is placed on contract, the contractor will further develop the specification and develop their own more detailed requirements document and system specifications, sometimes called a weapon system specification. The definition of system specification is a type of program unique specification that describes the requirements and verification of the requirements for a combination of elements that must function together to produce the capabilities required to fulfill a mission need, including hardware, equipment, software, or any combination thereof. What are the steps in developing a system requirements document? The steps in developing an SRD are the same as any other requirement document. There are six steps in the development of requirements. You can learn more about these steps by visiting the Requirements Development Steps webpage within ACT Notes. A few tips to developing a SRD are Follow MIL Standard 961E titled Defense and Program Unique Specifications Format and Content when developing the SRD. A contractor may build an internal document for managing the traceability of their requirements. If they call this an SRD, you might want to call yours a system specification to avoid name confusion. Any requirements in their document should be ultimately traceable back to your system performance specification. And finally, make sure the SRD and weapons system specification are traceable to the initial capabilities document and capabilities development document. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the system requirements document. For more information please visit the webpage. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.